Hey Nindy fans, Tom here, and welcome to a little bit of a preview of a game coming out very, very soon on the Nintendo Switch, and it goes by the name of Dead End Job. And I actually have a little bit of an interest in this one because I was at, I attended when we were at EGX, we attended a panel about this game, Dead End Job, and also Rico. And it was a very interesting discussion about the state of indie gaming and yeah, from that point on, so that was in October, I've been kind of keeping an eye on seeing when this game was coming out because it looks right on my street and here we are, we're going to be diving into things, showing you guys a little bit of what this game has to offer. And yeah, you know, I think it's always good to highlight games like this uh, visually. It looks brilliant, the premise behind it looks really cool and I'm really excited to dive into this one and hopefully have a lot of good things to say about it and be able to recommend it to you guys who are checking this out because you want to know something about it. So uh, I mean just look at the character design is pretty interesting. So we're going to get straight into things here, get into a bit of gameplay hopefully. But yeah, straight away, I think it's really important that, you know, games like this have brilliant... Let's look at the options real quick. What options do we have? Controls. Okay. The controls... No, okay. Gameplay, health items, blah 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 blah, bit of camera shake, job map. Uh, we're going to be starting in the business district. Initial phantom offering one. So, I don't know, it feels like there's a bit of a Luigi's Mansion kind of thing going on here. I don't know. You know I, this game looks brilliant. I don't know too much about it though, because I always, when I see an interesting indie game, I always like to kind of keep myself away from looking too much into it, just so it's a real surprise. And, and that can be in both a good way or a bad way, but I guess we'll see. So I, I think the overall aim is we've got to use some more the nasty little game. Okay, we're using that kind of language. Now use your vacuum to handle it. So yeah, this is very, this is, right? Am I wrong? This has got a bit of a Luigi's Mansion kind of thing going on. You know, you've got to stun the ghost and then you've got to vacuum them up. There we go, we've got one. I mean, I will say actually the, the rumble feels really nice. Obviously you can't know that if you're watching this because, uh, you know. You can't know that, but yeah, the rumble feels really good. And anyway, here we go, head to the exit. Well, we don't want to head to the exit. We're going to get as much money as we can. I want money. I want to be paid for my work that I'm doing. So I'm going to get as much money as I can. And I guess the environment's destructible. To an extent they are, okay. Oh, okay, we can make like money pop out of them. All right, kill this guy as well. Suck him up, right, look at that. Could we get anything else from destroying these? Oh yeah, these these drop money. Well, we're gonna we're gonna get all this. I'm not sure what you use money for. Exit. We can go out either way. We'll go out this way. Uh, I'm gonna scoop you up. And you. I mean, I will say I really like. Oh, careful. I guess you kind of have to not be carefree about where you're firing these shots off because these things will blow up. What was that? Ooh, you use whatever stuff you can find lying around. Oh, that usually doesn't be good. Okay, so it's not going to tell us what this does. Uh, right. Oh my god, okay, that just blew up a load of stuff. Suck you in. No, I don't think so. I'm going to get you two. I'm going to get you as well. Yeah, this is like uh, the Indie Luigi's Mansion, I guess. Uh, nah, it's got its own identity, cost it does. Oh no, okay. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking at my health there. Jesus. I died. <laughs> I didn't even realise, oh my god. It's always brilliant to... Do we get any... Do we still get money? Cash in hand. Okay, so, okay, so we still get the money. Okay, so it's like a rogue 
Of course, it's a rogue. Every other game on the Switch is a rogue at this point. Uh, do my job with you around as much as awkward than I thought it would be. What's going on? But I didn't actually realise that it was a kind of ghost mechanic. That's pretty cool. I like that. I actually, I still need to pick up Luigi's Mansion, actually. Um, don't hate me. Still not got around to picking it up. Never mind. Right. So, this is the goal we've got to get to is £50,000. I like that it's in pounds. I really do. Handbook, what's this going to show us? What in the blazes? Okay, so is this how we... This is how we remember stuff, I guess. What's going on with this? I might tilt it in my head to look at this. And they're all business cards. Alright. Oh, okay, so it's just basically a... Oh, that's cool. Oh, and you can change their names. Oh, that's actually really nice. Alright, so we don't know what that does. And then... Okay, and then we've got loads of different pages. Okay. Interesting. I really like that you can change the name of the enemies. That's really cool. All right. I guess we're going back in. We'll see if we can get any further this time. But yeah, stuff like that, being able to change, you know, the character names and whatnot. It really adds personality to, you know, the, the journey that you're going on. All right, there's a nun in here. Hello, we've got a burger. Okay, you seem to use that at the moment. Alright. So, can we use the burger yet? No, we cannot use the burger. I wonder if the burger will... I assume the burger will be healing us up, perhaps. I don't know. So if we take some damage, we can give it a go, I guess. Alright, so we have to take them all the way down, so... Okay, so do we go right? We're gonna go right. Who's in here? Hello. Now, I'm not too sure of, to be honest, like I said, I don't really know too much about this, but what I can immediately tell, ooh, no you don't, uh, get rid of this one. what I can immediately assume is that there is a lot of content in this game, and to be honest, that's kind of coming from the enemy variety as well, you know, I always, I always feel like you can kind of judge games, you know, especially row games based a lot on the enemy variety and, and, you know, just what different kind of enemies you're dealing with, you know, because variation, ooh, secret scary, oh, it's like a secretary, okay, so is this like a boss, I guess, in oh, look at that, oh, no, I'll do damage to her, cool, I like that, all right, you, you need to go, but yeah, do you know what I mean? Because variety is so important to these kind of games. And and, and if you lose that variety, because I assume even stuff like the gun, the weapons, we'll be able to upgrade them. You know, if you don't have variety as a rogue game, there's, you know, there's not really much point <laughs> because people are going to get bored so quickly. Here we go, I'm going to suck you in. Look at that, that was a big one. And there we go, we got, we, I guess we took down our first boss encounter and we can see our money going up in the top. And I assume that once we get to, you know, these the objective like levels so once we get the 50,000 and whatnot we'll be able to I guess rank up and start moving on to new things perhaps not too sure like I said this is all speculative but I just wanted to give an overview of the kind of game we're dealing with catch enough ghosts to fill a tank and get a promotion which comes with fabulous prizes okay here we go we're gonna get a promotion Two stars, we're a T executive, that is fantastic. Oh, so we can, okay, so we can choose a, put as much in here. Uh, tie a little bit, uh, leave it in the center, turn the room intact. Right, I'm gonna go with the gun, overheating less. Cause I think that's a pretty useful thing to, oh, it's another one here, okay. Oh my, we're like flying around here. Is this the juice? It's the juice we've been drinking. It's... Oh yeah, so yeah, the burger does. Healers. Ooh, hello. Come on, come over here. Over here. I'm not sure what the antenna does. I'm going to save the antenna though. 
Because we nearly defeated this, the Sacroscary. There we go. And we've rescued you. Okay, so now there's another. Oh, okay. So now we've got a CR CRT filter on the game. Get it going. Right, you go there. Go on. Look close. To be honest, this is pretty easy. I'm not struggling too much with this one, but we're just gonna. Have we got it? Oh, what? How did it not kill me then? That was bizarre. Right. But I don't know if we get to keep the upgrades we got or not. That's something that I'm definitely going to have to dive into a bit more. But I think we made quite a lot in that one, to be fair, actually. Yeah. 3,000. 4,000, pretty much. That was that was a much better run. So I wonder what happens when we... Do we have to get to this by the end of the month, I'm guessing? Perhaps. Right, we'll tell you what. We'll do one more run. And then uh, I think that will give you a good enough look at definitely the beginning of this game. A uh, dead end job, but I'm sure there is loads more to it. I really like how it, I do really like the art style. I wouldn't exactly know how to describe it, but it's very nice. Although that's not the style, it's not the very nice style. I, it feels like we're keeping the upgrade. Okay, so they just keep blowing up, and it seems there's no. Um, differences in regards to damage it's, it's a one and done thing across the board so that's gonna have to make us be extra careful I guess oh money loads of money I like money Makes it feel oh another one of you is there, I don't know it feels like there's not a lot of variety in the bosses right now oh my Jesus look at, you, look at that that thing really is going Right, suck you in, and suck you in, and suck you into it. Can we just like suck everything in? Jesus, look at that with. Do we get money for all this? So we just like <laughs> helping clean up. So that's what we're doing at the moment. We're just helping there we go. do a bit of damage on you. Now you're a level 2 boss. I don't think we have a dodge or a dive of any, of any kind. So we're gonna have to deal with. The, we just have to try and avoid things, I guess. There we go. Right. Get the money. Collect the money. I like money. There we go. Look at that. We're already on 1700. We are absolutely nailing this one. Right. Oh, it's going to be these little guys, which I don't really like. What's this one? Ooh, it's like a disco. It's like a... Um, it's like a, a monkey bomb from zombies. For anyone who's played Call of Duty Zombies, you know what I mean. Although I doubt these genres overlap too much, but, but you never know. I guess I'm playing this, aren't I? So. Look at that. We are making big, big, big dollars. Right, we've got to save you. Of course we do. You fool. Jesus, don't, don't hurt that guy. Right. Is that going to save you? Of course it is. Right, we'll level up. I do think the upgrades carry over. I don't know. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they don't. Right. Uh, hard work is good for you. We're going to go for this one. Whatever this means. Don't know what it means. Did we get a bonus? I'm not entirely sure. Anyone in here? Yep. Of course, we got the, the Rotoms. I do, I, I actually love the fact that you can name these, I'm like, because I'm definitely going to be naming them. You know, it's such, it's small details like that. You know, it's, it's just about, it's not something that, you de uh, that you're necessarily going to use and really like kind of remember. You know, I think at the same time, adds a lot of charm to these kind of games. You know, you can, you can just feel that a lot of love has gone into this, like you really can. You know, even just something as simple as the, the character models or 
you know, the, the fact that they've added in the ability to, you know, customize the names and stuff like that, you know, they are the really small details which show, you know, me especially. I play a lot of indie games and, you know, you can really feel with some of them that the, 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 there's been more put into them than others. And I'm feeling this already, you know, I definitely... I think that probably looking at this you can get a pretty decent idea of what the kind of ex like what kind of experience you'll be getting. And I assume here we go, our next person to rescue is here. And this is the end of the room, and I assume once we finish this bit, we're gonna go up a floor. Which will be pretty good. We'll probably finish though just for uh, just for this video, just because I wanted to give you a little look into things. Is that yeah, of course it is. No. Oh no, no no no, we're not after what we've after after the attempts we've had, we are not gonna be uh We're not gonna be giving up. We're not gonna be going on this one. We are gonna be going through all the way here. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know that, you know that there we go. And I assume Right, we're gonna level up again. Let's level up again. We're gonna go from a qualified. To, oh, we're gonna be a junior intern. Let's go. Right, only uh, lubricate shoot bitch me your gun fires. Okay, yeah, I love that. Oh my. There we go. And I believe that is it. How do we? How exactly do we get up? Head to the exit. I am heading to the exit. I don't know where the exit is. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to quit the job. <laughs> Jesus, that that was, that nearly knocked me out the entire bloody thing. Oh, okay, the exit's just here. Right, okay. So we're going to head up a fort. Right, well, we're going to finish things off there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I think that's the end of the job. I think like that's just it. Now we'll go back to the start, I guess. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief little look into Dead End Job, which is coming out. At the start of December, we can upload videos of it earlier than the review, but the review and the written review obviously will be coming very, very soon. So stay tuned if you're interested. And for more Dead End Job and other Nindies, stay subscribed to Nindie Nexus. If you do want more of this content, please do subscribe, leave a like, and let me know your thoughts on this game. And if you're going to be picking it up, perhaps stay tuned for our review. As I said, my name is Tom. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.